Hello everyone. Today we're going to service all four brakes on this 2008 Pontiac Vibe using a Midivac hand pump. In the brake bleeding kit, we have the pump itself, a couple bleed screw adapters, a fluid reservoir bottle, an adapter T, a suction cup adapter, more adapters, a couple lids for the bottle, and various hoses. The manual for this vehicle recommends starting with the right rear wheel, then going to the left rear, the right front, and finally the left front wheel, in that order. This is the brake line as it follows a path to the back of the brake cylinder. Above the brake cylinder is the bleeder screw. The back wheels are drum brakes, the front are disc, but we'll be bleeding them in exactly the same manner. I have the pump all ready to go and we can begin the bleeding process. But first, let's check the fluid level in the brake master cylinder before we do anything. You never want the master cylinder running dry of brake fluid. That's a definite no-no. When you're bleeding or flushing the brakes, keep the fluid level topped off. Otherwise, you're going to start sucking air into the system. Now, we're going to be flushing the brakes today, not just bleeding. So I'm going to begin by sucking all the fluid out of the reservoir. Then I'm going to replace the old fluid with new fluid. When you consider half of your brake fluid, or over half, is in your master cylinder reservoir, this is a good way to start flushing your brakes. Half our job is done, so let's start our second half. I pumped up the gun with air pressure, and now I'm turning the bleed screw. What this does is it creates a vacuum that sucks in the fluid through the hose into the bottle. Unless you have a bunch of air in the system, it should be easy to maintain enough pressure to keep the fluid flowing into the bottle. By pumping the gun at about this rate, I'm able to keep the pressure at the 20 mark on the dial. If I did have air in the line, this would not be possible. You would have to shut off the bleeder screw, build up pressure in the gun until uh, the pressure reaches about the 20 mark, and then try again over and over again until you get all the air out of the system. When the brake line starts running clear, that means we're finished flushing this brake. That's the new fluid that we added to the master cylinder a few minutes ago. Now let's start flushing the next wheel. The bleeder screw was hard to turn, so I drenched it in some WD-40, and now I'm just working out the rust. First, pressure up the midivac until, I don't know, 20, 25 on the dial. You want to create a vacuum before turning the bleeder screw. 
The brake fluid has cleared. With vacuum pressure still in the line, I'm turning off the bleeder screw. If you doubt whether you bled all the air out of the line, stick a pry bar against the brake pedal. This will pressure up the brakes. Then loosen the bleed screw. If you see or hear any air spurt through the hole, then you still have air in the system. Okay, we're finished flushing the back brakes, and off camera I did the front end real quick, so we're finished with the whole car. Don't forget to top off the reservoir, and pump up your brakes until they're good and firm before going on a test drive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.